Oh my god. Overall it looks amazing. This restaurant is the oldest in Antalya. Mm. If you take a piece of bread, you just go dip in. Mm. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Your support means the world to us. Today we're gonna do a street food tour, so we're heading to, to get a, a breakfast. We arrived for the breakfast. We just choose to sit here next to the park, Duden Park. It's a beautiful view. We ordered it already. So they just bring us the Turkish tea, the traditional Turkish tea first. Yeah, let me taste it. It tastes quite strong because it doesn't have any sugar, but it's good. Well, the breakfast has come. As you can see, how many varieties of cheese, Turkish pizza we have here, we have two eggs as well. We have some Turkish sausages here. Yeah, then on this side we have cheese, yeah, three types of cheese, some meat, some watermelon, yeah, <laughs> then some pastry with cheese, yeah, but overall it looks amazing. Then I took a little bit from everything, so I'm gonna try the aubergine now. Oh, it's so good. Actually, this is like a donut. I'll say, but it's not sweet. Oh, everything is so fresh. And tastes really good. So we we tried the, already like half of them, <laughs> almost. And now I'm just gonna try the pizza. Let's see. Mm. And the cheese is strong. It's not mozzarella, definitely. It's a different type of cheese and it has uh, small pieces of beef uh, on the top. Yeah, I like I like this one. Yeah, this is carrot in honey. It tastes it tastes so good. The mixture with the carrot with the honey is unbelievable. So yeah, now I'm going for I'm going for this one. I don't know what it is. It's a lemon peel in honey. It tastes really good. Well, I tried all the here. The carrot one, it was unbelievable. Yeah, it's not here anymore. Then the fig one was absolutely crazy because in mixed with the honey, it gives different taste of each fruit. Then I'm gonna go now for the, I believe it's a brownie. Yeah, let me see it. It looks good inside, it's very soft. Yeah. It's melting in the mouth. Actually, it's not a brownie, it's a chocolate cake. But it's very soft and it's warm. Yeah. We just finished the, the breakfast. And to be honest, it says that it's for two persons, but I'm pretty sure that it will be for free or two if you're like really hungry, depends. But everything was so fresh, uh, so tasty, and we had a variety. And uh, usually I'm quite picky when it comes to food, but this one was, I will give it 10 out of 10. 
and also the service was great. Um, it came uh, quite fast. Uh, yeah, we are now waiting for the bill, but uh, if you come to Antalya, you should uh, consider having the breakfast uh, here because it's uh, amazing. It's an amazing occasion. So for all this breakfast, we paid 630 Turkish lira, which is the equivalent of 19 pounds. For everything we had, it's an amazing price. With this said, we're heading now to the next location for the lunch. Well, now we are heading to the oldest kebab shop in Antalya, Topku Kebab, which is in uh, city center. This restaurant is the oldest in Antalya. It has been open since 1885, and I believe now it's uh, on the fourth generation. It has been going on uh, in family, so it's a family business. From them, we, have, we are gonna have the beef donor uh, kebab. It looks amazing, so I'm just gonna have to just taste it now. Came with uh, some bread, beef donor kebab, tomatoes, and uh, pepper. Mm, it's really tasty, incredible, all the flavors. You can see that it's, uh, it's cooked in a different way compared to the other places where I had the same uh, dish. I really, I really like this one. I'm gonna do the tasting as well. It's really ju juicy. It seems to be like a beef brisket, but it's not, but it's really tasty. Well, we finished the lunch. The meal was fantastic. I mean, the beef kebab, it was cooked so different than the other places. This place is 100% authentic. If you come to Antalya, you should try 100% this place. It's amazing. We arrived on the next location, which is uh, Meshkur Baki. This is all I can uh, do in uh, Turkish language. Actually, we're gonna try Antalya Shish Kofte Piaz, but actually you can find it only here. Our meal has come. So here we have a lamb kofte with some bread. Here we have a boiled egg with parsley, tomato, onion, vinegar, olive oil, and beans. And here also on the side some leaves. And here some grilled onion with green peppers. Let's try this one. It's very oily. So good. Oh, all mixed together. It's so fresh. Yeah, look at it. Really good. And 
let's step to the lamb kofte. Really good. We finished our meal. It was incredible, so tasty. Uh, I can't describe it more than that. You should come and try it for sure. We're gonna leave the restaurant in the description. And then if you come to Antalya, please come and check this uh, this place out because it's amazing. For the, for the meal, we paid 282 Turkish Lira, which is equivalent of eight pounds. to try something again traditional and special so let's go to check out the place just moved upstairs because the, the shop is really busy. It's nothing fancy, but the atmosphere is very friendly and as you, as you walk in, it's really good vibe. So I hope the food is gonna be all right as well. It's not gonna be really tasty. We ordered a kirimite kofte and we ordered also a beef liver. We received the beef liver and it came with uh, tomatoes and uh, peppers again and then a bread and let's see it's quite good it doesn't have loads of spices usually i'm not a big fan of liver but uh, this one it's enjoyable somewhat yeah well now i'm gonna try it uh, usually i don't eat uh, liver chicken liver usually i was eating but i never tried a beef one uh i will try it and i will tell you if it's on my face it's good yeah with uh, the chili flakes and all the peppers and the spices is really tasty and it just arrived the keremite kofte or oh, is boiling look at this so here we have uh, tomato red pa uh, red papers we have the meat kofte it's usually it's lamb different spices is really hot uh, i don't know if i can uh, try it now well i'm going to try it now yeah here we go Mm. It is really good. And if you take a piece of bread, yeah, and you just go deep in, and yeah. Mm. It's really tasty, guys. Highly recommend it. Now it's my turn to try it and let's see. So I'll take some cheese, then onion, tomato. Mm. I love the taste and the meat, the lamb. Again.
said it's a different, um, it's cooked completely differently and all the flavors, yeah, when you combine everything, it's just amazing. Definitely you have to try this one. We finished it and honestly, once again, uh, after more um, tasting, I could feel all the flavors and it's, it's unbelievable. You must try this one if you come here. Also, what shocked me, it was that the thing that the price for this uh, kofte, we paid uh, 120 Turkish lira, which is insane for the quality and uh, everything that you get. Then for the liver, we paid uh, 75 Turkish lira. Altogether was 200 Turkish lira, which is equivalent to six pounds. Once again, the prices are incredible. So even though it doesn't look uh, that nice inside and it's just local, don't let that put you off and just come here. We will uh, also leave the link to this location in the description. So we are heading now for uh, our last location where we will have the dinner. We've been researching this uh, restaurant and it has uh, really good uh, reviews. And yeah, we're gonna go in and we're gonna try to see the menu. So actually they bring something here. I don't know what's going on, but it looks incredible. <laughs> it's a kind of starter. <laughs> There is on the plate onion, salads, green with papers. Actually, we bought uh, a soup, chicken soup first, yeah. I haven't eaten uh, chicken soup uh, in Turkey so far. Yeah, you can, you can see the texture, yeah. Looks a bit oily, but yeah, let me try it. Oh my God. It's a bit salty, yeah. And then it has so many, look, like pieces of chicken breast. Is incredible, guys. Mm -hmm. So actually, before before the meals, they bought uh, the vegetables and the greens. There we have green salad. Here, red papers. Here, some garlic with the uh, tomato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we have some aubergine, I think, I believe. Yeah. Then here we have a deep. It's something, yeah, tomato, onion, cucumber, then chili flakes, I believe, is inside, and olive oil. Then some green leaves for the lemon. And down here, I don't know exactly what it is. Yeah, I need to ask them. And then some onion and some yogurt down there. <laughs> Well, on the main menu, I got uh, chicken shish, red pepper, tomato, but this chicken looks incredible, juicy, and we have some burgur as well on the sides, and, and a piece of bread under the inside looks perfectly cooked. Yeah. Oh. 
It's so tasty. It's cooked on charcoal, I think. We finished our meals. This meal was incredible. The taste, the flavoring, all the dishes that they bring in the beginning, it was fabulous, yeah. We highly recommend this restaurant. If you come to Antalya, don't hesitate to come here. It's a really affordable restaurant and is the most welcoming restaurant that we ever been in, and Christina. Yeah, actually, the, all the, the details, the salads, the, all the sides uh, from the table, they, they bring for everyone, but I highly recommend it. I will leave the link in the description here yeah, to check it out. The reviews are really good. The place is cool. The staff is super friendly so we are now heading home it was a really a nice day and everything we eat it was unbelievable from all the shops but most of them the, the local shops are incredible so you must try especially like when you go in city center you see so many shops with different food and different variety lots of lots of things to to try Try to come in Antalya and to try the local ones, yeah? We're gonna leave a, a link in the description for all the, all the restaurants we've been. And if you wanna try it, don't hesitate to do that. This is our video for today and thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Boom.